NASA is developing tiny swimming robots to seek out life in seas of other worlds. That in a report at SpaceChatter.com. Please like and subscribe. Now, I remember this concept back in the days when we discovered that the moons around some of our planetary neighbors were more than just big rocks. In fact, they might be covered with icy oceans. Now, as technology has progressed, plans are being drawn up by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and that's JPL to you and me, to dispatch smartphone-sized bots to swim through the alien seas. The concept around this week's announcement would see the mini explorers whisking through water beneath the miles of thick, icy shell on Jupiter's moon Europa or Saturn's moon Enceladus, looking for signs of extraterrestrial life. Packed inside a narrow ice-melting probe, you're seeing an artist rendering here, that would tunnel through the frozen crust, the tiny robots would be released underwater, swimming far away from their mother craft to take a measurement of the new world. Ethan Shaler, a robotics mechanical engineer at JPL in Southern California, saw his sensing with independent micro-swimmers, or swim, ha, I see what he did there, that's cool, he saw his concept recently awarded $600,000 in Phase two funding from the NASA Innovative Advanced Concepts Program. Shaler explains, quote, With a swarm of small swimming robots, we are able to explore a much larger volume of ocean water and improve our measurements by having multiple robots collecting data in the same area. The early stage swim concept envisions wedge-shaped robots, each about five inches long and about three to five cubic inches in volume. NASA says about four dozen of them could fit in what they're calling a cryobot, taking up just about 15% of the top science payload volume. That would leave plenty of room for more powerful but less mobile science instruments that could gather data during the long journey through the ice and provide stationary measurements in the ocean. The swimming robot concept has been compared to the Ingenuity Mars helicopter, the airborne companion to NASA's Perseverance rover on Mars. With the idea being that if you happen to land on the surface filled with life, but you just don't land anywhere near it, <laughs> that would suck. All right, you can check out more info on this and other cool space news and updates by clicking in the link in the description below. And please give us your comments. Like and subscribe our YouTube channel and also head over to spacechatter.com.